What's going on guys, Sledgehammer70 here, and it is time to take a ride. What's going on guys? Today's topic, I want to talk about the 2017 Camaro. Um, and it's not just, oh, the new 2017 model year, because 2017 is almost more significant than the 2016 release. Yes, there was a new body design. Yes, there was the new SS and LT and all the different options they did with in between and the new interior. But for 2017, not only are we still getting the SS and LT with the convertibles, but we're getting the 1LE and the ZL1. And not only is the 1LE specifically <clears throat> special, but you can also get the 1LE package with the V6 vehicle. Now, there are differences between the two, so if you want to get the SS, you are going to get an upgraded suspension system from what this SS has. Um, and if you're going to get the V6 1LE, you're actually going to get the SS suspension, which is upgraded from the V6 suspension. So GM kind of shuffled around parts in that manner, but the 1LE looks killer. So they had a new suspension, I believe it comes magnetic ride, it has the full trim package, so you get the front splitter, you get the um, blade spoiler in the rear, you get exclusive rims, um, all that kind of stuff. So they, and different tires, they did uh, 285s, 305s on the tires, 30 tall, basically the same setup I have on this car, and it's supposed to be a better track car. So I think a lot of people are still waiting for the results on the 1LE, but not only that, um, the ZL1. Now, the new ZL1 is kind of a beast. Now, not only is it borrowing, again, the motor from the Corvette Z06, well, our car borrows from the, the Stingray, so they're just carrying it out. Um, makes it a little easier on them. It has a little less horsepower than the Corvette, you know, big brother rules. But the one thing that it does have, and that GM has been very big to promote and drive, is their brand new 10 speed automatic and word on the street is is it's the fastest shifting automatic that exists um, on the planet and that being said a lot of people are wondering okay what is it? i don't know if it's a 10 or 5 horsepower difference between the z06 and the uh the zl1 but People are saying, even though the, the ZL1 is a little bit heavier, that 10-speed automatic could put the ZL1 in a 2.9, 2.8, 0 to 60. That would be crazy. I mean, you're talking supercar numbers on a car that will be under 70 grand. I mean, it's still a fair chunk of change for your average American, don't get me wrong, but that's like a significant technical undertaking that they took on and to be able to achieve it is pretty insane now the ZL1 definitely has some pretty awesome styling they went with their suede microfiber look on the interior they add the Recaro seats obviously the huge LT4 supercharged motor um, new suspension bits they're going with different tires um, and there's sa again same setup 285 305s 30 tall um, the car just looks mean you get exclusive rims that are ZL1 only I don't know how many people are fans of how those ones look, but um, the car in general looks mean. And 600, I believe it's 640 horsepower, that's just that's so much power. I can't imagine this car with 200 more horsepower. Like, I want to imagine it. I want a Z01 so bad. Like, that's life goal, right? Like, that's, that's what I'm working towards to get my Z01. But I think, uh, just in general, the, the 2017 lineup is gonna be awesome. It will be the first time that GM has every car across the board. They'll have their, their 1LE, they'll have their Z01, they'll have the SS and LT, you know, so you can get the LT in the four-cylinder turbo, the six-cylinder, um, the convertibles. You'll, you'll be able to basically do everything. So 2016 year was kind of has like kind of a half car year in a way because they just they didn't have every model across the board. And so 2017 will be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how the sales pick up if they do. I know a lot of people are going crazy over the May numbers that were released saying, oh, it's the lowest number Camaro has been since, um, basically since the Gen 4. 
Uh, but it's, you know, I looked at a lot of the numbers across the board and it looks like GM's down, Ford's down, Dodge is down. No one's doing perfect everywhere. Now, I'm not trying to make a case for GM saying that, you know, it's okay that they're not selling a lot of cars. They probably should have heavier discounted a lot of cars across the board, but it will be interesting to see how the sales of Camaro change based on them rolling out a full lineup. So having every car in their arsenal finally available, I know I, I've called and looked around at many dealers and most dealers just don't have many Camaros. I mean, my dealer locally has quite a few, but other dealers around, they have one or two, and even at that, they don't have all the different versions. It might be an SS, or it might be a base model, LT. Like, they just don't have the options. So it'll be interesting to see as GM is able to catch up and get more cars out into the marketplace if that changes the sales at all. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys, I know a lot of you guys have 16s. Are who, How many of you out there are sitting on the fence to see what the 17s and 18s? There's also the big fact that the new Gen 6 Camaro has gone through some growing pains and the 16s have taken the brunt of the manufacturing woes. And uh, if you haven't seen the video about that, I put, here's the link in the upper right hand corner. But um, you know, the 17 should be well-rounded, better Camaro, Gen 6 Camaros, in my opinion. Now, we'll see if that comes true. We'll see if there's any new issues introduced with the 17s. There's not really many options. I think they're introducing a teen mode for the drive modes. Um, and then also they discontinued one of the, the darker blue colors. So there's not a ton of changes coming to the car um, with the release, but we'll, we'll see how they come out. People will start getting their 17 SS and LTs here pretty soon. Manufacturing's already started on those cars. And then hopefully we'll start seeing the 1LEs, the ZL1s, start coming around August, September timeframe. So time will tell. But as always guys, thanks for watching the video. I love doing these drive-bys. I know I've been focusing and doing a lot of videos on car de detailing. It really hasn't been focusing a lot. I did a whole bunch of videos in one day and I've just been slowly editing them all together. So thanks for hanging in there with me if you just don't care about that kind of content. But I'm gonna be back to these driving videos and also just as a caveat, my work it's going to have me pretty busy over the next couple weeks. I'll be at E3. I'll be doing lots of stuff. If you guys don't know, I work in the gaming industry. So it's kind of a big time for us in the next couple weeks. So if you see less videos coming out this week, there's a reason why. It's just because I am super busy. I'm trying to edit a whole bunch of videos to have them done ahead of time so I can roll them out for you guys. But again, there's only so much time in every day. And I want to make sure I spend a lot of time with my family before I'm gone for a week. So, so. As again, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. A ton of new subscribers. Welcome to the channel, guys. I, you know, I just, I can't thank you enough for raising your hand and saying, hey, I'm interested in your content. I'm gonna subscribe to your channel. So, I think I'll leave it at that. So I'm headed to a car show right now and hopefully I'll have some videos around that. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you on the road.